All right, we're looking at the little stuff, so let's see what else we can find. All right, here I have a photograph, and if I look at it, we have some red eye. We look at a few different ways of reducing red eye. If I open the image using Camera Raw, I'll just go to the File menu and choose Open in Camera Raw. We have some choices there. Zoom up here so you can see our red eye. And at the top of my screen, there's simply an icon that looks like an eyeball with a little plus sign next to it. If I click on that, I have my red eye tool. And what you want to do with the red eye tool is click and drag like this to make a rectangle that surrounds the entire eye. And therefore, it can look within that area for the red part, and it's going to try to find it. It'll put a little box on it. If you find that box to be distracting, there's a checkbox called Show Overlay. You can just turn that off so you see your end result. And then we have two sliders. Darken is how much it's going to darken that area. If you find that it looks like just a black blob there and has absolutely no detail, you could turn down the darken setting and you'll find it's going to look more like a shade of gray in there. If you turn up the darken setting, it's going to get it towards uh, solid black. So you have to decide with that. You can do it with more than one area, so just click on another eye, draw a rectangle around the entire eye, and it's going to try to find the area that's red. Now if, for some reason, it doesn't find the entire area that's red, there is a choice called pupil size. And if you bring that up, it will try to search a larger area. And if you find it's changing too much of the image, there's something else red just outside the eye that's changing as well, you could try to bring pupil size down uh, to try to limit it uh, further. And so this is in Camera Raw. It is the red eye tool. It looks like a little eyeball with a crosshair. And just make sure you drag across the entire eye so that it can uh, try to search that for that. Now, if you don't feel like doing it in Camera Raw, because maybe you've already opened the image in Photoshop, you already have a layer called Retouch in it, you already have some adjustment layers in the image, we can do the same thing when we're in uh, Photoshop itself. Over there on the left side of my screen, where you'd usually find the spot healing brush over here, just below the eyedropper and such. Uh, if you click and hold, there's actually a bunch of tools, one of which is the red eye tool. The red eye tool in Photoshop works a little bit differently than in uh, Camera Raw. Uh, with it, you can just click on the eye if you'd like. You don't have to draw a rectangle. And at the top of your screen is where you have darken amount and pupil size. The only thing is the darken amount is not interactive, meaning you have to choose it before you click. You can't necessarily change it after. So if you don't like the end result, choose undo, adjust the darken amount or pupil size, and then you can come into a different uh, area and click again.